Hey everybody, I'm back with another video about ESP32 and Ethernet. Being an old guy, I tend to have the philosophy that if it's really important, wire it. And so we've spent a good bit of time talking about Ethernet on the ESP32 on my previous Olimex video. But this one is a little different. This one here bills itself to be the ultimate IoT board. And so I've actually owned one of these before and I used it in a project and so I got another one here and I want to show it to you because I think it is pretty cool. So this one here is the is their ESP32 EVB board and if I can get it out of the package. It is a very cool board. It has the uh, LiPo connector and the uh, normal barrel jack connector, your USB connector, but the thing that really literally sticks out is that it has two built-in relays that are rated for 15 amps at 125 uh, or 10 amps at 250 volts. And so it is able to control devices right on here, one board. And so basically if you think about it, this board has your Ethernet, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your CAN bus, your infrared, your um, relays, all of that stuff in one simple board. The only thing this one doesn't have that the other one had was the PoE. You can't power this one with PoE. But what it does give you is a lot of flexibility in a single board. And so you also have a full 40 pin header that gives you access to every single one of the ESP32's GPIO ports. So this board is a little different. This board is something that I've used in the past for things like garage door controls. If you think about it, you know, a lot of times at somebody's house, their garage will be way off on the other side of the building and they won't have good ethernet or good internet out there. And so you might want to run ethernet and get a good solid connection to open and close garage doors or turn other things on and off. The other thing I really like about this board is the fact that it has actual terminal strips for dealing with these relays. These, uh, these are pretty well separated back here if you're getting into mains. Uh, for the most part, I don't use them for mains. I use them more to connect switches, but uh, you can. They are rated for high enough to control mains voltage. And so we're going to take a look at this one. We're going to get a sketch on it, and we'll get some more information. And again, if you have not seen the previous video where I went over one of these Olimax boards, I show you all the different modules that you can get for them and different things about the software. So I'm not going to redo that. We're just going to look at this board in particular. Okay, it had been a little while since I had played with one of these boards, and uh, one of the things, you're going to find a million example sketches of how to use Ethernet on an Arduino. There aren't going to be anywhere near as many, and when I say not as many, I mean probably three on how to use it on the ESP32, but that's okay. We, uh, I went through the example sketches, I got connected just like I did with the PoE version, the uh, only difference is that I decided to hook up MQTT to this one, which was kind of my primary reason for wanting to, to use this board. And I had a little bit of trouble, but I reached out to Olimex and they got back to me within a couple of hours, sent me an example sketch, and I was off to the races. And so um, what I did, let's see if I can get this to tilt in a way that you can see it. Uh, there we go. So I made a little node red sketch uh, that allows me to turn the uh, focus, turn the relays on and off, and you can see that I can actually open my bathroom door and all that kind of stuff with it but uh so yeah you just click the little buttons and you're going to get a pretty quick feedback on turning the relays on and off it also has infrared receive and send on here i played with that a little bit in a separate sketch andrea spice 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 has uh, a really good tutorial on using infrared on the esp32 so i will share a link to that so that you can see that but it's a it's a cool board basically i talked to the people at olimax and they said that, that people tend to use this board more as a prototyping board and then move over to this one so when you talk about um when you talk about not having poe there's just not enough pins on the esp32 to do everything that this board is doing plus poe so they basically said most people use this for prototyping and then switch over to this and use the PoE to basically power everything. So um, I would love to have this in PoE, but I understand that there are technical limitations. And so anyway, I like the board. It's got some very specific use cases. If you need a lot of power, if you need something that's dual core, if you need a lot of memory, if you need a lot of speed and you want to do it well, then you want Ethernet. And if you want Ethernet, then you probably want one of these two boards. And so 
that's my thought. I love the board. It's a cool board. They're both cool, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to using them in my projects.